If you're integrating a blank function with respect to something, eventually there's a hidden one inside the functions. So what is the integration of one? Since one is just a constant, so we know integration of constant just is served times the variable that are integrating with respect. So for this case, we are integrating with respect to x. That's why we have x. If we have dA, it becomes A. If we have dB, it's going to be B. But don't forget these are indefinite integrals. This is why we have plus C. So x times one is just x plus C and it's going to be the answer for this. Questions. Next, how about the integration of zero? Since zero is also a constant, so we know the answer is going to be itself times with the variable that we are integrating. For this case, it's going to be x plus c because it's an indefinite. Whatever times zero is zero, this why we have zero plus c, and in the end we have just c. Next, how do we integrate a modulus function? If you still remember how to draw a modulus function for y is equal to modulus x. We have a graph looks like this, where we have a, like a V shape, right? Like a V shape. This happened because by right, the graph will look something like this. But because of the modulus, this is why it reflected in the x axis. So whatever that is positive is simply just a normal function where y is equivalent to x. Meanwhile, the one reflected, we say that is negative x. So this is why eventually this is a piecewise function where we can say that the modulus x can be break down to two parts. When it's a positive, it's just x. This when x is bigger than zero. Meanwhile, when x is smaller than zero, we have the graph will become negative x when x is smaller than zero. Since we split down to two parts, the integration is also going to be the same thing where we're going to split down to the integration of positive x with respect to x. And the another one is going to be the integration of negative x with respect to x. So what's the integration of x? If there's no power, the power is 1. So the power increased by 1 divided by the new power plus c because it's an indefinite. And this only valid when x is bigger or equal to 0. Meanwhile, the negative thing, since this is just a negative, we can say it's a negative x squared over 2 plus c. And this only valid when x is smaller than 0 and we are done. Just a reminder, 1 over x power of n can be written down as x power of negative n. So it means that we just need to flip the power of the initial functions. This is how we bring it up. So first, we always going to bring up the x power of 2 first. This is why become x power of negative 2 and going to integrate respect to x. So after that, we're going to know it's just a power increased by 1 and divided by the new power. So the power increased by 1 divided by the new power. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. And don't forget to plus c because it's an indefinite integrals. So this is why we have x power of negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. But since power of negative 1, we know we need to flip it again. It becomes 1 over negative 1 times x power of 1 plus c. So next, we're going to do again for 1 over x power of 3, where we have the integration of, bring it up first, x power of negative 3 dx. So what we're going to do is, just like usual, the power is going to increase by 1, negative 3, plus 1. And then divided by new power, which for this case is negative 2, plus c. So what really happened here is, now it becomes x power of negative 2 over negative 2, plus c. So power of negative 2, we know we need to flip again, become 1 over negative 2, x power of 2, plus c. So one last one, we're going to flip it again. The integration of x power of negative 4 with respect to x. So what we're going to do is, just like usual, the power increased by 1 and then divided by the new power, for this case it's negative 3. And then plus c because it's indefinite. So what we're going to have for now is going to be x power of negative 3 over negative 3 
plus c the power of negative 3 will bring it down it become negative 3 times x power of 3 plus c so as a conclusion we know that when we take the integration of a reciprocal function 1 over x power of something with respect to x we always always give us the answer of negative 1 over x to the power of so the rest of the pattern when x power of 2 it become power of 1 when it's power of 3 it become power of 2 and when power of 4 it become power of 3 so this is why we know that the power is going to reduce by 1 and one more thing that you need to know is do you realize the coefficient of it the coefficient is just same as the power but it's a negative that's why we put the negative in front first and the coefficient is going to be same as the power n minus 1 and then of course plus c for indefinite but just remember this wouldn't apply when n is equal to 1 because when n equal to 1 we bring it up become n power of negative 1 plus 1 become n power of 0 divided by 0 so this wouldn't work for n is equal to 1 let us try to integrate 1 over x power of 5 with respect to x by using this trick so we know it always going to be negative 1 over x power reduced by 1 and the coefficient same as the power plus c so let's try again how about now we have the integration of 1 over x power of 6 with respect to x we know that the pattern is going to be negative 1 over x the power reduced by 1 become 5 and the coefficient is the same plus c so let's try it out by yourself pause the video and see whether you get the same answer with me so we're going to have the pattern of negative 1 over x then the power reduced by 1 becomes 6 the coefficient is the same plus c how about now we have the integration of 1 over x power of 9999 with respect to x so if you use the pattern it's the same thing negative 1 over x the power reduced by 1 and the coefficient is also the same and then plus c how about now we have the integration of 1 over x power of 6 6 6 6 with respect to x it's the same thing it's going to be negative 1 over x power of 6 6 6 5 and the coefficient is going to be the same as the power plus c so when we have the integration of function like this we're going to take out the constant first so 2 the integration of 1 over x cubed dx so we really learn about how to do it very fast 1 over x cubed is just basically just 2 negative is the pattern 1 over x power of then the power reduced by 1 become 2 and here also become 2 then everything plus c so this is why we have negative 2 over 2 x squared plus c then we will have negative 1 over x squared plus c so again next one we're going to take out the constant first which is 3 integration of 1 over x power of 4 dx so again we just make the constant outside and we're going to integrate inside remember the pattern again always negative 1 over x the power is going to be reduced by 1 and the constant is the same and then we plus c this is why we have negative 3 over 3x cubed plus c and we can just cancel out this is why we have negative 1 over x cubed plus c so again we're going to take out the constant first 4 integration of 1 over x power of 5 with respect to x so this is why we can use a trick where 4 bracket the pattern is always going to be negative first 1 over x power going to reduce by 1 the coefficient is also the same plus c so this is why we have negative 4 over 4x power of 4 plus c 4 and 4 can cut off this is why we have negative 1 over x power of 4 plus c hey if you have any questions or would like to see any kind of video do leave your comments below and let me know if you want to support us so that we could make more video like this the simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends Click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.